I think people's reaction to the movement was a bit mixed because, of course, if it's the first record that's coming out after Joy Division, you're going to make a lot of comparisons. But it was great getting a bad review in a way. I mean, even now, I suppose it's... If I see a bad review, <laughs> I think, oh, I really want to go and listen to that now. <laughs> it's a pretty weird experience because we were just recording after Ian had died. Everybody was feeling a bit down and certainly working with Martin. I've never worked with somebody like Martin who used to just make you do things again and again. But because I didn't know, I thought everybody was like that. And so Martin was very innovative. He used to have like tape recording and loops and stuff, which not many people did then. When Joy Division did Close, Stephen was like, I hate it. It's all drum machines and they weren't very happy with it, but from an outsider's point of view, it was wonderful. It's good to have somebody else's perspective. So I quite liked it in a way, but I don't think many of the other members liked working that way. It was a bit fraught sometimes, especially Martin used to work a lot at night. We were not night birds at all. <laughs> I think that's what makes record a bit dark as well. When you start playing a song from that era, like, in a lonely place. It's really haunting compared to what we do now. If you know them, they're not a sombre group of people, but I think the songs personify somberness. They're just not like that at all. They're very dry, they're quite funny. People <laughs> when they get together, even Tony and Rob, didn't take things much seriously, apart from the music, of course. So I suppose when Ian died, it was just so cajoling together that it's like, well, yeah, we'll just carry on because why give up on all the music, that, especially that we've done with Ian? Yeah.